Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this question, uh, we are given a function f of z and we have to find its Lorentz series in three different domains given in part one, two, and three. So let us start the solution. The given function is f of z is equal to minus z plus two divided by z square minus seven z plus 12. Let us factorize the denominator of this function. So if we factorize the denominator, we get that this is equal to minus z plus two divided by z minus 3 into z minus 4. Let us say this is our equation number 1. At the next stage, we have to find partial fraction of this function. So by partial fraction, we have minus z plus two divided by z minus three into z minus four, which is equal to a over z minus three plus b over z minus four. And if we further simplify this function, we get minus z plus two is equal to a into z minus four plus b into z minus three. Let us say this is our equation number two. Now, if we put z minus three, equal to zero in this equation after simplification we get that from equation two a is equal to one and if we put z minus four equal to zero from equation two we get that b is equal to minus two. So therefore, we can get that minus z plus two divided by z minus three into z minus four is equal to one over z minus three plus minus two over z minus four. Therefore, our function in equation one becomes that f of z is equal to one over z minus three minus two over z minus four. Now let us find its Lorentz series in the domain which is given in part one. So part one is that one is less than z minus two and this is less than two. So we need a series in z minus two. So let us simplify this function and we can get f of z is equal to one over, I have to obtain a series in z minus two. So we will split minus three into minus two minus one. Similarly, in the next term, we can obtain z minus two minus two. And now look at this domain. 
z minus 2 is greater than 1. So in the first part, we have to take z minus 2 as common. So we will get f of z is equal to 1 over taking z minus 2 is common. We have 1 minus 1 over z minus 2. Similarly, in the next place, we have 2 is greater than z minus 2. So let us take 2 as common. So if I take 2 common, I will take minus 2 common. So minus into minus will become plus. And I have 2 divided by 2 into 1 minus z minus 2 divided by 2. This 2 will cancel with this one. And now in the next step, we can obtain that this is 1 over z minus 2 into 1 minus 1 over z minus 2 whole power minus 1. From the next term, we can obtain that this is plus 1 minus z minus 2 divided by 2 raised to the power minus 1. Now we shall use the binomial expansion. And let us remind that the binomial expansion of 1 minus z power minus 1 is equal to 1 plus z plus z square and plus up to so on. So using this expansion, we can get that this is 1 over z minus 2. And now we can get 1 plus 1 over z minus 2 plus 1 over z minus 2 whole square and plus up to so on. Now look at the second term. From the second term, we can get plus 1 plus z minus 2 divided by 2 plus z minus 2 square divided by 2 square and plus up to so on. Now let us simplify this by multiplying 1 over z minus 1 inside the bracket. So we will get 1 over z minus 2. The next term is plus 1 over z minus 2 square. Similarly, the next term is 1 over z minus 2 whole cube and plus up to so on. And now we have to write 1 plus z minus 2 divided by 2 plus z minus 2 square divided by 2 square and plus up to so on. So this is the required Lorentz series of the given function in domain 1. Now let us find the Lorentz series of the given function in the domain which is given in part 2. That is z minus 2 absolute is greater than 2. Now from the given function, we can obtain that f of z is equal to 1 over z minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 divided by z minus 2 minus 2. And we have to take the larger term as common. So in the given domain, we can see that z minus 2 absolute is greater than 2. And of course, 2 is greater than 1. So z minus 2 is also greater than 1. So taking z minus 2 as common, we have z minus 2 into 1 minus 1 over z minus 2. 
Similarly, from the next term, we have minus 2 divided by, now we have to take z minus 2 as common. So z minus 2 into 1 minus 2 divided by z minus 2. If we simplify this, we can get that f of z is equal to 1 over z minus 2 into 1 minus 1 over z minus 2 whole power minus 1 and plus minus 2 over z minus 2 into 1 minus 2 divided by z minus 2 whole power minus 1. Now, in a similar procedure, we have to use the binomial expansion. So, according to the binomial expansion, we have 1 over z minus 2 into 1 plus 1 over z minus 2 plus 1 over z minus 2 whole square and plus up to so on. Similarly, from the next term we have 2 over z minus 2 into 1 plus 2 over z minus 2 plus 2 square over z minus 2 whole square and plus up to so on. If we further simplify this, we can get 1 over z minus 2 plus 1 over z minus 2 whole square and plus up to so on. Similarly, from the next term, we can obtain minus 2 over z minus 2 and minus 2 square divided by z minus 2 all square and minus up to so on. So you can further simplify this. Now let us solve part 3 of this question. In part 3, we have the domain that 2 is less than z minus 1 absolute, which is less than 3. So again, from the given function, we have f of z is equal to 1 over z minus 1 minus 2, because we need a series in z minus 1. Similarly, minus 2 divided by z minus 1 minus 3. And now look at this domain. 2 is less than z minus 1. So we have to take z minus 1 as common. So taking z minus 1 as common, we have 1 minus 2 divided by z minus 1. In the second term, we can see that z minus 1 is less than 3. So we have to take 3 as common. So taking minus 3 as common, I have plus 3, 1 minus z minus 1 divided by 3. And if we further simplify this function, we have this is equal to 1 over z minus 1 into 1 minus 2 divided by z minus 1 raised to the power minus 1 plus 2 by 3 into 
one minus z minus one divided by three raised to the power minus one. And again, now we have to use the binomial expansion. So according to that expansion, we have one plus two divided by z minus one plus two square divided by z minus one square and plus up to so on. From the next term, we have two by three into one plus z minus one divided by three plus z minus one square divided by three square and plus up to so on. Now we have to simplify this. So after simplification, we have one over z minus one plus two divided by z minus one square and plus up to so on. And plus two by three plus z minus one divided by three square into two. And plus again, we have to multiply two. So this is two z minus one square divided by three cube and plus up to so on. So this is the required Laurent series in the given domain. That's all.